Yo, what's good everybody and welcome to an Outer Ring video. Today we're going to be going over the best method and the best techniques to apply when you're farming for runes for you to be able to, you know, level up incredibly quickly. I'm going to be showing you everything there is to know about leveling up and how you could potentially get to level 300, 400 or even max level being level 700. But before we dive into this method, a quick word from today's video sponsor. If you guys want to purchase some items for this game, check out Easy NPC and also use code Floppers for a 5% discount. Links below. Right, so firstly, we're going to be grabbing the two most essential items you need for any rune farm. These items will literally combine give you a 50% boost in rune. So you definitely don't want to miss out on this. Now, the first item is going to be a craftable consumable item, being the golden owl pickled feet, whatever they're called. But basically, this item. Now, you can actually craft these and have as many of these as you want because again you can craft these you can also go on exploration adventures and just find these randomly but i recommend you just do this and get the recipe now to obtain a recipe it's really straightforward you just want to come over to this like mine here this cave and go inside of it there's going to be a boss now this boss is very easy this whole cave is very short so you just want to run in there get into the boss area you want to start the boss fight and you just want to proceed like any other boss fight you want to start fighting the guy and then you're going to get to about half his health and he's going to like surrender so you don't want to attack him you want to just let him talk and then you want to forgive him by doing so you're going to be able to like go to a rest point come back and then speak to him and he's actually going to turn into like a vendor now after you have him as a vendor you want to talk to him and you want to purchase this cooking recipe because this recipe is what allows you to craft the golden pickled feet now there are going to be three ingredients which you're also going to need to collect the first one being berries the second one being bird feet and the third one being glow bugs now the best location to farm yourself the berries is literally the first point you actually go to as soon as you leave the dungeon and enter the open world once you're here on the map you just want to run around in this area it's very close to the beacon so you can just run around collect the berries go back to the beacon rest and you will see that after you have rested you get back up bang all the berries have respawned and this is probably the best location to farm yourself the berries now the second item you're going to need are going to be the bird feet now of course for these you can kill any bird you come across the best location that i found are actually anywhere near the beach of the best one that i've come across being the big square right here on the beach so if you want to come here of course if you do want to make it easier for yourself do grab yourself a bow and arrow it just makes it a little bit easier because they don't really run away and the second location being the second beach right down here on the map so you'd have to travel a little bit to get here but this is the second spawn location and of course all you have to do is just shoot the birds kill them and you're going to have a chance of acquiring the bird feet but now the third and final item being the glow bug now the best location for these that i've come across is right here on the map this is close to the second bird farming location down at the beach at the bottom of the map this is very close to that place you can see the little swamp here a little pond on the map here this is basically where you want to come and if you make your way over to this area here you're going to see that there's going to be a ton of them in the water so you can just literally collect all of them go to a rest point reset it and then return here and just farm yourself as many glow bugs as you need but now that you guys have the golden pickwood feet sorted let's actually go over the second item and it being the golden scarab now this item isn't too hard to obtain all you have to do is come to this cave right here on the map best reference point for this would be it's close to sort of like the road and the actual telescope on the road in the red area but this is the cave that you have to go in here you have to clear it out go to the end kill the boss and after killing the boss he's actually going to drop you the golden scarab which is actually going to give you around a 20 percent increase in runes whenever you have this equipped so now that you have the recipe to craft yourself as many golden pickled feet as you could possibly want you know where to get the ingredients and you have the golden scarab let's head over to the best rune farming location and the entire game this is by far the best spot it's really easy now to get here you're gonna have to do three quests for white mask now if you don't know who he is he's basically the first npc you technically come across in the game and his first spawn location is going to be right as soon as you leave the first cave or the burial area he's going to be standing outside there if he isn't there he's going to be at the second location being the church in the water here now you want to go ahead and talk to him he's going to give you three quests the first one is going to be that you're going to have to invade 
three different players and just basically interact with them as in pvp you don't have to win those you can win you can die it doesn't really matter as long as you complete three pvp games using the finger then it's going to send you on a different quest where you're going to have to go ahead and collect blood of the lord now if you don't know where to get the blood you can head over to this location on the map the second church here up on this hill there's going to be a dead npc sitting on the chair if you interact with her she's actually going to give you the blood of the lord and then you want to return to him and the third quest is basically handing this in he's going to bless you cut your finger off i think and then he's going to give you a medallion now this medallion you're going to be able to teleport to like an underworld area which is the location that we're going to be using for our farm now of course if you don't know where to go i'm going to show you guys exactly where the spots that we're going to be taking advantage of so as soon as you use the medallion it's going to spawn you in this area here so from this point onwards just follow the pathway i'm taking and i'm going to show you where to run Now once you make it here you just want to activate the spawn beacon and wabang you guys have made it to literally the best farming location for us in the entire game no matter what level you guys are this is literally the best farming spot this is new game early game mid game end game just the best one and here what you want to do is just have a weapon of this area of effect you can use any weapon but it might just take a little bit longer you want to kill all of these enemies here and then what you can also do is there's going to be a bird down on the cliff if you have a bow you can just aim at him shoot him trigger him and he's just gonna run towards you and fall off the map and you can literally just rinse and repeat that by running back to the spawn beacon resetting them killing all of these enemies shooting the bird now of course the bird is optional i personally don't use the bird because i feel like it just takes extra time and i'm better off just sitting and resting and killing these enemies now of course the reason i'm killing them so quickly is because i am using an end game sword which most of you pretty sure wouldn't have if you're watching this and if you do go ahead and use it because it's really overpowered but this sword is literally the one you obtain after killing the final game boss so i am a new game in fact i'm a new game three that's why i'm getting so many runes you are probably going to be getting a little bit less depending on what new games you guys are on but this is by far the best method to farm a lot of you guys have asked me to do this to cover this like this purely because i've covered this location on my channel a couple of times but i just use different methods and a lot of you guys have been asking me what is the best combination of items to use for this and here you guys go the golden scarab and the golden pickle feet are something i always run of this because it just gives you so much more ruins but that's pretty much it for the video if you guys have any questions be sure to comment down below and overall have a phenomenal day and i catch you in my next one peace out